I'm just about to review the Grupo Papa Shark with a maximum y-axis stroke of 1.2 meters. But when this ram is fully extended, how do you eliminate the droop? Bob, great to be here with you today at CW Fletcher in Sheffield to look at this absolutely beautiful machine tool from Grupo Parpus, the Shark. Um, what were the challenges that CW Fletcher presented to you? Basically, the, the whole idea of the machine is a derivative of a, of a 3D model we were given. Uh, the customer designed a specific model for all the key features that the machine needed to achieve in machining. So we never actually saw the components, but we only saw the main features. And so one of our biggest issues was is basically how we're we going to hold the parts, how we're we going to actually get round the part, and how we're we going to put the de divisive parts into the machining process. So basically, we had to look at all the options that were available. There were possibly four machines that we could have made the part on, uh, but we had to analyze specifics, and we decided upon the, the Shark machine. Brilliant. And I'm looking at the configuration of this machine tool yes. and it is very unique and application specific so talk me through and start let's start with the c-axis yeah no problem as you said it's very very specific for the application uh, there are many options available on the shark that obviously we haven't used but some of the options we have used are grupo purposes patents uh, so the idea of this the c-axis itself is a very high positioning high resolution encoder and that is the crux of the business for moving the parts for location of hole positions and it's a very very accurate part of their business so it was crucial that we incorporated that design into the machine in the initial process obviously we had to also bear in mind that it, during the machining process we had to provide a head where we can get it inverted so obviously it's machined from an under, under face and that was our second concept that we had to come up with and we've decided on, on the head, you can actually see now the, the CUB head, so. So with, with, with the C-axis, you, you say very accurate. Yes. Um, a lot of the work that they do is ring work and the it relationships is. between some of the features are so, Spine so tied yes, up. It is. What is the actual accuracy of the C-axis? The C-axis itself, it's actually controlled by a hardening encoder. And in the, in, the, in the business, it's one of the most accurate units there is. It's built into the, uh, the C-axis unit that's produced by Grupo Parpus and it actually has an accuracy of one arc second over one meter. Wow. <laughs> so it's some, it's some positioning. Wow, and, and the swing of the, what's the, the maximum diameter of component that can be presented onto the bed? The maximum component is around about 1600 millimeters, but the actual y-axis movement is, is 1200 millimeters. So that's something else we also have to think about when we're positioning a part. Uh, that obviously dictates which side we machine from. Uh, but on all cases, uh, we have got good clearance on, on the back of the machine. And, and the weight, I mean, you've got such a height here. Yes. Uh, the weight and the height. It is, yeah. Height is another concern. Uh, originally, we spec'd a much smaller machine, which we call the Shark One. Uh, but as in many cases, there was a last minute change of design for a new job. And we had to extend it up to 1600 millimeters. So we had to go for a bigger design Shark. So that's a, that's a hell of a uh, large height component. And the, yes. and the weight, sorry, uh, Bob. The weight's uh, three and a half thousand kilograms is the maximum weight that we can actually index. So there's a lot, lot of weight to, that, that this machine tool can take. Now, you mentioned um, the, the 1.2 meters in, in the Y axis with the RAM design. Yes. Do you, do you experience any type of droop with this kind of configuration? By nature of the bed mill design, as people like commonly call it, so we don't like to call it with the shark. We, we, we are, completely different uh, ethos to that but yes droop is always inbuilt into the design and Grupo Parpus have developed their own system for compensating with that droop compensation and through the actual body the main body uh, in the y-axis on the ram we've got four high torsion bars basically that are, are moved mechanically to actually take out that droop over a period of time so the machine is pre-programmed and then obviously the adjustments are made to the droop compensation. So there's no droop whatsoever? Very little, very little, <laughs> yes. And now we're moving on to the head, the, the swiveling head, which gives you even further machining capabilities. Talk me through the capabilities. We were talking to Alan from CW Fletcher that was telling us about the inverted machining. The um, and it's in the sixth side of the part. That's correct, yes. To a lot of people, obviously, when you, when you look at the machine, uh, if you're a subcontractor, you wouldn't have spec the machine quite as, as she's built today. You would normally be embedded with your, with your C-axis, but by the nature of the part and what we were trying to achieve, 
we've taken away that from the machine, leaving it with just the, the, just the C-axis. But the head itself obviously has got to engage the part below the centre line. And we can come in from any angle, from underneath, from any side. So not only the front, but the two sides as well. So at any point we can obtain an infinite number of movements to get the degrees that we need. Well, I mean, that's, that's, un that's unbelievable. Is that unique? Quite unique. I'm not aware of anybody else that can achieve that. I mean, normally it's down to people will state oh, three million different positions it can be in, but we can't. Uh, it's absolute finite, so uh, we can actually achieve any angle that's selected. And and then the ram is this on on, on a linear uh, design? Is, yeah, the, the ram itself is actually is actually hollow. Uh, with the finite element of design that's gone into the machine, one thing it is is to take the weight out of the ram. So what they've included is a four linear system that holds the machine and it's also counterbalanced for weight on two hydraulic circuits. And that basically, so we're, when we're lifting the ram up and down, we're taking the full weight off the ram, and so we can move at 30 meter rapids. The design sounds phenomenal. I'd it love is. to learn more it about is. this design. Yeah. Um, so this, this is uh, effectively for faster feeds and speeds, is that correct? It is, the, the machine itself is spec to 30 meters. We can actually do 40 in a different application, but on this particular machine, we've gone for 30 meters in X, Y, and Z and that's a big column to move. And is it capable of cutting any material? It is, yes. It's not specific for aluminium or anything like that. It's any material. And as CW Fletchers can confirm, there's some very hard alloys out there to, to machine. Yes. Finally, uh, Bob, tool changer. I can't see one. <laughs> well, it's certainly there. It's hidden. You can just see to the, to the left there, there is actually a door. The, the tool changer, the ATC unit, is actually mounted to the column. And that was another specific request of the customer. Uh, the options are you could have a tool changer at either side of the machine or we could attach one to the column. Of course that then gives us another design issue, we've actually got to drag that weight as well. So that's all in the design of the, the linear system and the rack and pinion, which is a twin motor system. We have no deflection in there and we have no backlash. But the ATC itself, basically the guard opens and the arm comes out and we change the head. We've got 80 tools in there and we can change at any point without moving across the part Obviously, for accuracies, it's sometimes better to keep it in one place than go, go down the machine, do a tool change, and then come back. So that was the customer's preference, and obviously, it's quicker. Absolutely fantastic, and programmed by the Hyden Eye control. Uh, control. In your opinion, Bob, um, from having a machine tool like this, does it give you that advantage when trying to win work in, in the aerospace industry, the defense industry, splay, space yeah. exploration? industry is this the machine tool that can give you that 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 edge it certainly is and grupo Parpas is the company that can give you that edge as well yeah they the say there's a there's a price tag for everything and uh, but if you can justify where that money's spent and you can show people in the quality of what can be done they're, they're a great machine